Ooh. Honor thy father, thy mother. I want to talk about my dad real quick. Me and my dad never had the, we, we never had the greatest relationship, probably because on my part, because I was always mad at my dad from past things, you know what I mean? Like, I always had this grudge with my dad. And I think the worst, he, he named his dog AJ. Who does that? But here or there, through reading the Bible and then also therapy, it, it made me come to an understanding that my dad is the way he is because this is how he was raised. He can't give what he didn't receive. So now that I'm older and wiser and I have a child, I can't, I, I can't imagine my son having the hatred towards me how I had towards my dad. So my dad discovered Usher Raymond. And through that discovery of Usher, Usher became what we know is the king. I said what I said. And through that success of Usher, it was successes of a lot of other people that trick, trickle down to the ses, success of me. I'm, I, I signed the Usher as a producer. Just reading the Bible and, and, and things like, just making me think like, if it wasn't for that act of faith that my dad had in Usher, I wouldn't be here at this moment right now talking to you right here or even having my children or meeting my, my wife, so on and so forth. And even with the amount of success that everybody had that was involved with Usher, right? I mean, from Justin Bieber to Scooter Braun, like all these things, or Keith Thomas, like all these things wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for my father. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, Abram or Abraham, father of nations, right? So Abraham was a devoted man of God. And I'm paraphrasing, by the way, so don't hold it against me. Uh, God blessed him with a son by the name of Isaac. And one day God commanded Abraham to sacrifice Isaac as an offering, right? Without question, without denial, the faith that Abraham had in God and the obedience, he he didn't question God, so he took him up to the land of Meria, prepared everything to, for, for this burnt offering, right? As he was doing this, Isaac was looking around, was like, yo, where is the sacrifice? Right then, Abraham said, don't worry, God will provide himself with the lamb. Now, the Bible is tricky. That was literally a prophecy of Jesus, a foreshadow of Jesus, the sacrifice of Jesus, or Yeshua, Yahusha, Yahawashai. Right before Abraham was about to, an angel of the Lord called from, from heaven and was like, hey, relax, it was all cap, chill out. And through that obedience, God told Abraham that he was gonna bless his seed to multiply more than the stars in the sky and more than the sands in the seashore. So out of that act of faith that trickled down through generations and then came David and then came, you know, then Jesus would have never been here. Does that make sense? And this is what makes me appreciate my dad and, and learn to love him and, and honor him. Like the law says, it's crazy. Like I, I know it's a crazy analogy, but it's something there. Because just imagine if Abraham or my dad said, nah, then what would I be? So in conclusion, what I really want to say is, thanks dad. You did good. I'll praise in the most high.